I, I think uh, if I understood correctly, uh, making it forgot to tell their editor that they had recorded an episode, so they missed a week upload because of that. I think that was really funny. Huh? <laughs> I think it was a couple of weeks ago when they didn't publish uh, an episode. That was because they forgot to tell their editor. <laughs> that's that, that's a luxury problem to have an editor. It really is, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm. Uh, With that being said, that. how <laughs> how much should we check on like Fiverr or some of those sites? I mean, how much? do a decent editor take to edit a podcast i mean it's sure more than can... we make on it yeah <laughs> yeah but that doesn't need to be much to, to reach that <laughs> threshold i mean it's gonna but, be, yeah i mean it's not gonna be cheap can... is it it's three hours work at least isn't there yeah but i mean for a professional editor that has a, the proper setup and the fancy keyboards and everything and probably uh a lot of plugins and tools in the software and also knows what they're doing i mean they could mm. probably it, it but it, it is hard to do it in less time than the actual recording though so it's going to be that's the know, problem with editing isn't it you have to listen to it yeah and i mean the, if you actually work with it <laughs> you, you probably have <laughs> you probably have attuned ears so you hear all the bad things and want to yeah. fix them as well and that sort of thing and yeah i feel i've heard a lot of um, yeah, some podcasts talk about that they spend more or less all their earnings on having an editor oh, wow. and and a producer and that sort of thing because they're uh, quite um, uh, scatterbrained, so they need someone to tell them <laughs> what to do and when to show up and when to record and that sort of thing. Because if they try to do it themselves, nothing happens. So. Then, uh, then they shouldn't be doing podcasts now, should they? <laughs> yeah, I've... but when they have a already have an audience um, I mean in this case it's the safe third podcast I'm thinking of so it's Backyard Scientist, William Osman and a couple more so they have like 50, I can see that they struggle the to uh, <laughs> uh, yeah to keep the attention for more than 10 seconds in any direction so yeah, yeah. I guess if anyone needs an editor it's them everybody should just do it bad audio style because um, I can edit that by sight mainly I don't have to listen to it <laughs> <laughs> it's just adjusting volumes there's barely any gaps in it and they're, they're very visible uh, uh, yeah I think we could automate it in our instance I mean alright you you do a compressor and uh, adjusting the volumes and uh, normalizing and then all silences over uh, two and a half seconds or one and and point eight seconds or something we just yeah. find a threshold and it just chops it out and then voila and then of course it's the music intro and outro yeah and then whenever we mention cock move that to the front as a bait before you play the intro music i mean it, it's very easy editing <laughs> <laughs> i'm sure there's an ai tool for that yeah. I mean, not in tonight. What's the fun in that? <laughs> not in tonight's episode, but we've been pretty good at recording a hook ourselves, haven't we? Yeah, sometimes you even know that, uh, all right, I need yeah. a hook now, and then you yeah. just bait everyone into it. <laughs> but <laughs> that being said, though, AI. Um, I have actually paid for AI this week. Or no, I haven't paid for it because... I, I registered an account for, on Udio to get the full benefits of downloading tracks with uh, separated uh, instruments. And uh, I have a alarm in my calendar tomorrow to remember to cancel the subscription before I have to start pay for it. <laughs> 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 but I have been playing around with it. And it is amazing until you want to do advanced stuff because you you can only tweak it so much and you can't once it has generated lyrics you can't really change it he can't really cope with that and that that's a bit annoying because of course I, I started a couple of weeks ago to like all right can i make it give me a good bass melody for a christmas song for the hell quarter played around with that for a week 
um, until I found the melody and instruments that I think is somewhat catchy. Um, and then, of course, I, I played around with various uh, AI tools and UDO to, to, to get lyrics. And then, of course, uh, some sentences are good, some are crap, so I was just uh, cropping them into a Word document and tweaking them, writing my own passages and make them to fit, and, of course, making the hell quarter there. And So now I have a melody <laughs> and the lyrics... But combining those two is now the next issue. Um, and of course, as I uh, briefly mentioned before we recorded the main episode this week, uh, I uh, had home office on Friday, so I hooked up the microphone and just did the vocals myself. And oh, <laughs> it's a long time since I've been singing anything other than to my kids and... Uh, I'm at that point where I can listen to myself and edit without cringing too much, but hearing yourself sing, <laughs> like, as the only vocal contribution, I mean, I have been singing on stage before and or in choirs, and, and that's a totally different ballpark because you blend in, but ooh, this was cringeworthy. So, yeah. Um, so now I'm looking for some AI tool to uh, take your voice and enhance it. Uh, so that it sounds, uh, to be honest, bearable. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but I did actually send an email um, to Sarah over at uh, Team Recorder. I'm like, all right, um, you said you were up for a collab, and I have a melody for a Christmas song, and 80% of the lyrics, I still need to work on them, and like, are you interested in listening to it and then have a think if there is something you would want to contribute to and like in a few minutes it's like hell yeah <laughs> so <laughs> so I've chugged Brilliant. over the melody uh, and the lyrics and of course uh, I, I wrote in the email that uh, I do also have a version with the vocal track but it's too cringeworthy to share so I need to come to terms mm -hmm. with my own voice before I can send that but yeah so it's uh, it's fun to see what ideas she have to the entire thing. I think um, you know we need to help you through this, Havar, and you know you, you're going to have to do this on your YouTube video and you know put your voice to it. So why not just give us a line now? <laughs> <laughs> a little little practice session. Um, Come on, one, two, three, go. Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's going to be the best kept secret ever until launch date, or maybe not even then. You're just um, going to release it and hide until New Year. <laughs> yeah. I did have... I have been thinking, though, because, I, of course, I have... That's why I haven't finished the lyrics, because I have some ideas for the video, and, of course, if it ended up being a collaboration... Of course, having a professional musician on that actually knows how to play the recorder. Um, I have some ideas how to make that into a fun gag uh, somewhere along in the video. Um, of course, we have to, to play on that idea. And then I thought maybe I should set it so that it is like a Christmas gift. So the, the night of Christmas Eve, that it is like... Um, the release date but then again you you want to release it a bit earlier because of course this is going to be the next christmas hit so you, you want the place yeah, i was going to say if it's going yeah. to be number one <laughs> yeah of course you, you need it uh, as early as possible in spotify and uh, all the other music <laughs> platforms <laughs> <laughs> well, we can uh, release it as an extra track on the podcast as well can't we and then, and then all the CMOs can share it in for before you know it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll um, be right where you are now. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Just a bit more humble, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, but that being said, though, I, I see only possibilities because, uh, of course, now we have the, the new table coming upstairs and we're thinking about swapping out the, the couch uh, down in uh, where I'm actually doing the recordings. And I have been planning on getting rid of that uh, pedal organ. So, of course, I think I'm going to give it its last send-off in the video for that. And... I'm I'm hoping I have this visual image that it is a like a, a quiet evening and the snow is coming down and you have the lights from the street lights and so on. So I just bring it outside and and play and set fire to it. Uh, so. <laughs> there it's, there is a lot of ideas. It's quite sad for that pedal organ, isn't it? Because that's the only way anybody can envisage it ending for that organ. Is it going up in flames? <laughs> yeah. 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 That being said, I have been practicing a bit to getting uh, the tune to work on it, and I mean it plays very well, and it it, yeah. it looks good. But I mean, I'm not I'm not gonna give it the use it deserves, and it's been on an online marketplace for ages, and people are giving them away for free. So yeah, it is. It's sad, but it's also huge, and it takes up a lot of space. So I need that for other things. Michelle, don't Does get any then? ideas. <laughs> <laughs> Does it affect the audio if you put propane by the air intake? <laughs> well, only one way to find out, I guess. Uh, <laughs> Slowly fill it up and then. Yeah, yeah because I, I th um, then again, if you set fire to it from the top. There is a lot of wood to burn through before you get to the valves. And the ballow system is at your feet, basically. So I think you can play it for a decent amount of time before you start not getting Before it any blows up in your face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, yeah, maybe not propane lamp. But <laughs> you said it's got bellows. Can you not just redo it as a forge or something like that? Yeah. First forge. You'll, you also have to play music while you're forging. Yeah. Forge organ. Is what really what good. sound should that <laughs> name? Yeah, I should. Uh, I mean, uh, we're Played meeting up. With, you've got a blacksmith in the background there. Just. I mean, we're meeting up with Rasmus in a, yeah. uh, a bit above a week, so uh, I'll run the idea by him. Yeah. Maybe uh, maybe the the pump organ can get a second life. I know he's been looking into getting an induction forge, but I mean a pedal organ forge, that's yeah. even awesomer. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you see, and the problem is what you need to do is to stock up on all those other ones while they're still free before they see this <laughs> idea come out. Yeah, <laughs> but that that is a brilliant idea because, I mean, that it is kind of catchy, that repetitive, when you're hammering an anvil. Yeah. So yeah. then, if I could bring it to his place, set it to fire there while I'm playing, and he could hammer the anvil with something with sparks and everything, but to the the rhythm of the tune, that would be cool. And of course, you guys, you volunteered here earlier today to have a cameo in the video, so we need to record the chorus when you're here. So uh, yeah, maybe it's gonna be uh, maybe we're gonna bring a lot of makers in on this. Yeah. It's gonna be magical. like the the next uh, heal the world or what? What's the the song <laughs> called? Uh, the uh, the save the save Africa the, save the world save the world. Yeah, this is yeah. the next one. KJ save just sank a little in his chair. Then when he said that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm up for anything. <laughs> You're going to provide us with Santa hats, aren't you? Because we, you know, we need to look Christmassy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and that's oh, that's the thing though. The, the only thing I'm lacking is sleigh bells. And then I went online. I mean, sleigh bells—they can't. Oh yes, they cost a lot. <laughs> I mean, if you if you want a proper one that sounds like the sleigh bells, that is easily uh, 150 euros, and that is. I'm not planning on spending that, so of course I need to find a. Um, there is probably a sleigh bell uh, plugin for uh, some of the music software I have, so I can hook up my MIDI keyboard and make it that way. But uh, sounds like a project for KJ that does sleighing bells. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, I mean, you have you have one and a half weeks, KJ. Yeah. Can't you make one? Go to the local uh, arts and crafts stores, get a lot of bells, and just pin them to a stick. <laughs> like a Morris mm. dancer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we but need Morris really dancer. Metal Morris dancer. <laughs> Glenn, can you get costumes? And then, of course, we need Morris dancers in the video. I mean, this is this is getting elaborate. I'm not going anywhere near a Morris dancer. That's a bit scary. <laughs> yeah, we talked about that. Yeah. <laughs> Meeting a pack of uh, Morris dancers yeah. in the night. Oh, I'm going to the other side of the street. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> but yeah, that's 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 the that's the most annoying thing about this project. It's the time because we are in the middle of the October, and of course now I got the spirit over me. And, but this is a project one should have started at summer to be able to plan everything. So yeah, yeah. I think the time constraint is the biggest limit. I think that's sometimes good, though, isn't it? That's what forces your hand and makes you do these things. Yeah, that is true. Yeah. I think if you'd started in summertime, you would have thought about it in summertime and still started it now. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) To be fair, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) And it'll be fine. So when are you hoping to have it ready? You've got to be sort of first week in December, really, aren't you? Uh, Uh... Most likely, it's going to be later than that, right? Because it's going to take time. But it all depends on Sarah and what she wants to contribute with, or if if she wants it all after she got the melody over. But <laughs> I mean, I do I do have the melody, so that's done. So all I have to do, I, I want to play the guitar and the bass track myself, and I mean a good evening in front of the computer. I'll record that. And what I'm probably going to spend the most time is is doing the vocal, uh, finding out how to actually sing it so it doesn't sound too cringe-worthy. Um, and then it's just making the video, and that is just... You don't have to sing then, you just have to pretend, so you can run around just uh, recording small snippets here, and then I'm just going to make sure I do the most out of the time, and then, of course, you have to cut it together. And of course, if it's going to be a collaboration, then uh, of course I'm also a bit at her calendar. I mean, she she's a professional musician, actually playing and doing courses and and so on. So she's more busy than I am. So I'll I'll try to adapt. Yeah. Sounds good. Can't wait. Me neither. It's going to be cool, I think, and yeah, it's, it's going to be nice to just. All right, I've 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 done the, the Hellcord and Music thing, so now I can just go back to doing the 3.0 and starting to make uh, <laughs> changes to it again. <laughs> <laughs> so KJ, um, you've, you've been on Instagram with two pieces of wood in your hand this evening for the scrap yes. build of. Have you decided which one you're going to use? Well, we'll see what the, the vote so far is pretty clear in one direction, I think, so... Yeah, they all want the chair leg, don't they? Or the piece yeah, of, yeah. Uh, I want the piece of cherry because I think that'd be harder for you to deal with. <laughs> <laughs> You're so nice. <laughs> Have you got any ideas what to build from either of them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, it's the same use uh, for both. So oh, okay. it was more deciding what what to use. So it's, it's an actually actually a a question uh, that I need an answer for. <laughs> Do we get as clue as to what you're making? Nah. <laughs> I'm not sure, really sure that I, I'm, I will do it, but probably. We'll see. Fair enough. Giving it all away again, as usual. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm going back to my keeping my secrets close to my nose. No, that people just going to uh, think there's going to be something cooler than this. No, I'm, I'm going to... Um, uh, rehandle uh, a small stretch. Oh, that's what okay. I'm gonna do, because I have one that I I use rather often because it's the it's not the pretty one, it's the working one, <laughs> so to say. But it's uh, the handle is is split rather badly, so you re- you really need to wear gloves to use it. Otherwise, you're gonna get a splinter or it's gonna bite your. Uh, did you, did you say sledge? Yeah. But in sledgehammer, like 
or yeah. sludge. Oh, okay. A, a, a sludge is like a, I don't know, the thing that you use in the snow. Yeah, I was, I was yeah. pic- picturing that. So yeah. Yeah. Is that you? Yeah, that might be. Yeah, oh, that's true. Yeah, it's a sledgehammer. Yeah. <laughs> A small sledgehammer as well. Okay. Ooh. I oh, that would be cool. I actually fixed uh, my wife's family's sledge last winter. It's a it's a proper wood one with like uh, metal bands under the. I've got one of those. The glidey thing is, and it's really nice woodworking, and it's it's proper wood, and it's old as f. And uh, so I just, I, I didn't cut or do anything. I just made a new handle at the end of the rope to match the same materials and so on. And then, of course, afterward, I learned that, oh, that was just something they got on an online marketplace. Someone was giving it away. So they ha- it has no sentimental value. And then I'm like, all right, bring it back. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I found someone else giving away the exact same one, and I, I really and it was really mangled. So I want to just take the wood off and just use the metal parts and then rebuild it, but exactly the same way because it's it's really nice and it, it would be like a therapeutic project. But I don't have enough scrap wood to uh, to make that the challenge. So uh, yeah, <laughs> I had one of those sledges given to me few years ago now and I just use it for a Christmas display on the front garden every year and then it goes yeah. back in the loft <laughs> it's never seen any snow <laughs> well we've actually used it and that's uh, it's a nice piece of kit but of course we have also these uh, more modern one with the steering wheel and I mean that's a much better riding experience but yeah I don't think we've had enough snow for the last few years to use a sledge to be fair the the last time I used it, I used it to, <laughs> to strap my camera equipment because I took a day off from work to go into the forest on a frozen lake to film some B-roll, basically, for a, a Jimmy D'Aresta movie I was making. And it was the first video I shot with the camera, and that's the episode where I came home uh, and I realized I've shot everything in, like, slow motion <laughs> without audio. <laughs> and... Halfway through, uh, I mean, it was like 16 degrees below. So, I mean, the, the, the battery lasted for 20 minutes. So I got just half through cutting the ice. And yeah, so that was really crap. So I have to redo everything. So I kind of like, uh, I don't think that's happening. But I have that folder with those video clips because some of them I can with music use them as B-roll. But uh, yeah, I have to match that same location and the same snow conditions and yeah that might not happen this year either so <laughs> you're making a Jimmy DeResta video it sounds like you're making a documentary about Jimmy DeResta <laughs> or maybe you were it is yeah <laughs> <laughs> no it's and that's another annoying thing I mean they had this it was a maker thing where they took one of his ice picks and they sent it to a maker and you did a modification and then that maker sent it to another maker and i think after like the 10th maker it being sent back to the the friend of jimmy's that arranged for this thing and then they redo the circle and i got contacted if i wanted to be the next in line and i said yes but i was probably bumped down the list so i never got it so it's like should i buy myself one to complete the video because I was actually shooting that B-roll footage so that when I got it I had already done all the winter footage because the rest I could do in my workshop in summertime if that was the time I got it but yeah I never got it so I'm sitting on some footage but yeah maybe later maybe it got lost in the post and they just think you've got it and not returned it (laughs) (laughs) that would be fun like in a year and a half like So how long are you going to spend on that thing? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, we're expecting big things from you <laughs> yeah. for ages. <laughs> but then I can say, yeah, I've been filming for years. So yeah, it's, this is going to be big. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we should start something like that. Uh, sending something along collab thingy. That'd be fun. Yeah. yeah. Just have to figure out what it... I mean, it it needs to be something that... 
can be added to or yeah. improved in. What do you add to an ice pick? What do people add to it? Uh, I mean, the the first guy, I guess, had it easy because he just made a box for it. And oh, then, of course, okay. uh, the other people did just branded their logos to that box. But someone did put, like, uh, I think it was a machinist who pay, uh, made knurled, uh, like, patterns on the handle. Uh, okay. um, and, yes, someone made accessories for it and, and so what. And I had a brilliant idea for it, but I, I can't say it because if somebody swaps the, that idea, then I'm left dead in the water. But it was we a two are two stroke engine, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> it was no it it wasn't, but the fine thing is 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 of course the, the location where I was filming at that lake, they actually did make ice as a big business before the time when we had freezers so they actually did spend the winters out on that lake chopping it up in blocks uh, getting it by horse down to the lake and then they shipped it down to uh, the continent so I was going to reference that history to the ice pick because the ice pick is a tool from that age because you got ice in big blocks stored in sawdust in a cellar somewhere and uh, once you had a party or something you brought it up and you uh, used an ice pick so I was going to reference that. So I had actually, I think this is one of the videos where I actually had a plan going in. So, and I still have just, you know. I've seen people harvest those big blocks of ice off the lake. It was on Frozen, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Good. <laughs> <laughs> but of course, it would be easier to do it while it wasn't frozen because then you just need a bucket and then you can just leave the bucket and then wait for it to freeze but I mean that's what I would do but I'm I'm not an ice maker so yeah just make, you need a lot of buckets make some big ice cube trays and just leave those at the side of the lake <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah that's actually a kind of a project <laughs> like a huge <laughs> rubber mold for uh, like hey, yeah. I'm going to make the world's biggest ice cube you and I'm going to have a drink. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, the world's largest gin and tonic. <laughs> that would cost a fortune in your country. Yeah. What if, you, if you have a still. Oh, yeah. yeah. I, uh, I've, I've tried making gin, and it, it's not as easy as uh, the <laughs> recipe says. Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> But you make good fuel. Yeah, very much. Uh, and <laughs> window washer fluid. So, yeah, really effective. <laughs> Shall we call yes. it tonight, fellas? Yes. <laughs> 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 All right, then. What's the demon about? <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs>so we'd, we're not recording on a Monday ever again then yeah <laughs> no <laughs> not Next on time, this Monday Wednesday. at least yeah <laughs>